Good evening, everybody. It's a great pleasure to be here, to be here with you all um, to introduce tonight's movie, Western, written and directed by Valeska Griesebach. First, I would like to thank Ricky here at the DPAC for making this screening possible, and just in general for the amazing programming that the Browning Cinema has to offer. Thank you very much also to the Nanovic Institute for European Studies, both for hosting and sponsoring this film series, and also for inviting me to give tonight's introduction. Tonight's film tells the story of a German construction crew that is sent to a remote Bulgarian village in order to build a hydroelectric dam. As they establish their construction site, they encounter their local neighbors whose lives are affected by the infrastructure project that is being forced upon them. As you can imagine, social tensions run high very soon. The Nanovix film series this year is entitled who is your neighbor? A seemingly simple question, I would argue that it is possibly one of the most pertinent questions that we all need to ask ourselves in this day and age, though. For example, it has only been about a month since right-wing extremists chased foreigners through the streets of Chemnitz and Curtin in Germany. The German AFD, a right-wing populist anti-European Union party, now polls as the second strongest party in Germany. Their very platform is built on the idea of not wanting to know and love thy neighbor as you love thyself. These nationalists have constructed a version of Germanness and Europeanness, which is very exclusionary and does not allow any room for foreigners. This unwillingness to engage with different others in turn leads to a very limiting and limited version of national identity. It is quite obvious that an open and friendly engagement with one's neighbors must be a cornerstone of any society. If we look at Europe historically, Germany's recovery after World War II would not have been possible without the support of Western allies. The European project has always been one of neighborly unity. As right-wing populists gain support in Europe, Griesebach's film is an important reminder of why open encounters with someone or something foreign is crucial for the health and longevity of just and inclusive societies. As we will see throughout this movie, engaging with something foreign, a so-called other, is always very much an engagement with oneself. As the German construction crew sets up their work camp in rural Bulgaria, the two main German characters, Vincent and Meinhardt, take diametrically opposed approaches to engaging with the locals. Vincent embodies the stereotypical image of a Westerner who belittles the East European villagers for the supposed backwardness embodied by the lack of infrastructure and basic amenities. From the very beginning, Vincent sees himself and his colleagues as vastly superior, almost as the saviors of the helpless Bulgarian villagers. What Vincent does not want to acknowledge, however, is the fact that the real and possibly only hardship that the locals face is the presence of the German construction crew. <laughs> the film here, of course, is very critical of European, European Union infrastructure projects that are mandated by the EU Parliament in Luxembourg and implemented without much regard for or input by the locals who will be affected the most by those initiatives. Valeska Griesebach captures this dissonance stunningly in long shots of the Bulgarian landscape, followed by close-up shots of the hydroelectric dam construction site. This construction site vis visually disrupts the aesthetic beauty of the countryside and thus, off and thus offers a pointed criticism of the hegemonic arrogance that is embodied by people like Vincent. Throughout the film, as you will see, Vincent is probably the character that develops the least. This, I would like to suggest, can be understood as a commentary on how an open engagement with others is important in order to engage openly with oneself, one's own hardships and flaws. The lack of such an openness towards others leads to a stagnation in one's own development. On the other hand, we have Meinhardt, another foreman and on the construction side. From the very beginning, he understands that successfully implementing their construction plans is only possible if they work together with the locals. Understandably, those locals do not welcome the construction crew with open arms, especially after word gets out 
early on that Vincent had harassed a local woman, the other villagers are careful in their interactions with the Germans. Meinhardt, however, manages to break into their inner circle by showing sincere interest in the villagers' lives, their stories, and their hardships. During a conversation with Adrian, a local, Meinhardt says that they all live in a doggy dog world where the only thing that matters is strength and power over others. Shortly after he utters those words, however, Meinhardt tells Adrian about the death of his brother and he does so in tears. Adrian, seemingly moved, has tears in his eyes too. He holds Meinhardt's hand and tells him that now they're brothers. In being willing to listen to Adrian and his life story, Meinhardt is able to both show weakness and emotions and also empathy for Adrian's hardships. While even in the relationship between those two men, we see a clash of cultures. For one, they don't even have a shared language since they only speak broken English. Their willingness to be vulnerable in a doggy dog world does not only foster their relationship as neighbors, but also allows them to grow as individuals. In the encounter with something supposedly foreign, they're able to better connect with the foreigners in their very own identities. And in a way, one could say that by the end of the movie, Meinhardt is more at home in rural Bulgaria than he ever was in Germany. There is so much more one could say about this movie, but um, it's a film about neighbor relationships. It's a film about different cultural notions of masculinity, but I don't want to take up more of your time and leave you with just one last thoughts. thought. Studies have shown, both in Germany and in the United States, that the areas which exhibit the highest degrees of xenophobia are those areas where people have had no to little contact with people from other cultural backgrounds. This behavior is very much embodied in Vincent, who judges the locals based on his prejudices rather than his personal interactions with them. In our current world that has seen a lot of violence against foreigners lately, let us all be more like Meinhardt. Let us meet our neighbors openly and let us learn from each other. Many thanks for your attention and enjoy the movie.